<laughs> like, first of all, Lil Wayne has been really, really nice about it. If it was my brother, my brother would have cursed him out, called him everything so but the child of God. Try to hear it, would he? Listen. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Project Barbie. Peaches in the building. She been around here for a minute on Boss Talk 101. We just mm, was in certified New now. Orleans. We yep, was in New I'm Orleans, man. <laughs> she in the I'm building certified. in Dallas today. I'm in Wearing the, the wrong building. damn shirt. No, I'm in the right shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in the right shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, e? I'm in the right oh, shirt. Who wait that? a minute. Who, Who that? that? Man, you know what, man? You know the ain'ts. I mean the saints. You I mean, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I love you. <laughs> hey, man. So thank you for coming on Boss Talk. I'm excited to be at this Boss Talk. So we've done it in New Orleans like twice. twice. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm at the real Boss Talk in Dallas. I almost forgot, but I'm glad I'm here with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, man. Just really want to just go go down through that with you. It's a lot of different things that's transpiring. I mean, I jump, dive, and slide right into, into things. It, of course. Um, Lil Wayne. I'm gonna try to fall back. That hurt, hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about? It hurt a whole lot. Not performing at the. Uh, su- the Super Bowl yeah. 2025 mm-hmm. when he had already uh, alluded to wanting to do it. Right. And he- do the Super Bowl? <laughs> Duh, nigga. <laughs> and it not happening for him. Of course, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans 2025 or something and like he's that. he's doing it. And also him apologizing. I want mm-hmm. you to just go into what you feel about that and if it's really something that, you know, you even thought about. Um, it's a lot that I would, I would think that we all talk about in New Orleans. Um, a lot of people, they don't understand. Um, you know, a lot of times they say we as New Orleanians, um, we feel like we're old things. And that's only because we're always left out of so many things. Um, I think the most upsetting part about it, I was upset a bit too, because of course, this is a big year for the Hot Boys. I mean, it's a big year for their brand. It's a big year just for New Orleans to be back on the main scene. And I think that's what's probably the most hurtful part because it could have did so much for everybody that was involved, whether it be Turk, whether it be BG, whether it be Juvenile. All these people, you know, it would have brought back to New Orleans. Um, I don't think it's so much of the... We don't think that Kendrick Lamar is great because, of course, we all love Kendrick Lamar. And, of course, his artistry is something that can never, ever be topped. And you can never change that. But I think when it comes to New Orleans and just that culture of New Orleans and just being embedded into that culture of New Orleans, it's we just we love Lil Wayne so much. I mean, we've seen him come from nothing to where he is. He really is that person now that we look at and be like, he really made it. Well, why do you think that they they chose him not only because he's hot, but what can he bring to New Orleans that Lil Wayne could? That's what I don't think it's so much what he could bring. I think it's all because they want to end Drake, and I think that's another thing that's the most disrespectful part of it all. Because not only did you take from Lil Wayne, because next year they have it in Cali. Why Kendrick just couldn't do it next year? That's right. But you you want to end him so bad on that platform that you want the whole world like billions of people to be like they not like us he's a 69 guy like you know what i'm saying y'all have forced the wow. song on us the propaganda is just crazy behind the track mm-hmm. and i mean like i said i don't have any problem with kendrick lamar i just feel like there's next year let him do it next year let me ask you this though like when you hear um different people like joe budden joe budden i just spoke on this uh he he actually uh Downplayed Lil Wayne said that his health. I think that's he said the his health thing. was not going to be able to make it. He says that his health not going like, to make like, it. Like through, a, through a Super Bowl show. He just performed. I'm just the telling you what he said. I think it is healthy enough to do the Super Bowl. You know how much ground that is to cover. This ain't the stage, B. This ain't the stage. No, you got this is he a, got a center, he got but he can get healthy, and nigga. You got to move around with them thousand yeah, dancers. Yeah. You not Rihanna and pregnant. You have to get out there and do something. It's only but so much fireballs and smoke they could put up there. Kendrick went out there. It's the most disrespectful that, yeah. thing. Like, on the internet, it has, Twitter has been crazy with them trying to compare the two. And I just feel like, I don't feel like it, it'll ever be a point where they'll ever be on the same level. Not to say, well, one is greater than the other one because one has been here longer. Um, one has been through more, probably. not. I don't know really the ins and outs of their situation compared to each other. But I just feel like, Lil Wayne, when people are talking about Lil Wayne now, they're not giving Lil Wayne the credit that Lil Wayne should give. Like, this man has done multiple mixtapes. This man has music that, I mean, when we go in the club, that's what we came out on. I mean, every time I listen to Lil Wayne in the car, it gives that nostalgic feel. Because we were in college when 
No Ceilings came out. I remember being in the club when No Ceilings came out. I remember being in cars with guys you were dating and No Ceilings came out. Like, Lil Wayne connects a lot to our youth, a lot to what made us us. Well, I, I, I want to say I'm, this. Okay, go ahead. Uh, is it going to be on the same subject? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to let you roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I, I hypothetically speaking, because I know sometimes, you know, with politics and they want to keep the peace and stuff mm. like that. Do you think that, and I know that Super Bowl loves to do surprises. Right. So do you think that if when Kendrick comes out, if he actually, you know, brings out Lil Wayne, do you think that that would be okay? Do you think that would be a possibility? Do you think Lil Wayne would actually agree to something like that? I mean... I think he would. I think it would be only just because it is New Orleans. You want to give us that feel. You want to give us that that moment. Um, but then again, it's also like, you know, you still undermine me and act like I'm not superior. I'm not important. Like, my catalog is not extensive enough. And I, I, I really hate the politics of people saying what Lil Wayne haven't done, what he can't do when it comes to concert-wise. Because I've been to three Lil Wayne concerts this year. Three. Yeah. Three Lil Wayne concerts this year. Last year, I probably went to two. It was all surprised, and I was just so excited. The catalog itself is so extensive that, like I said, it gives you that nostalgic feel. You dare, you like, man, I remember when this song came out. I went to the Essence, and he did Earthquake, that song he did with Jazzy Feet, and it just was the feels. Like, it just, it make you feel good. And then, like, a lot, like, people saying, y'all favorite artist is performing with music in the back. I've been to a Kanye West and Jay Z concert. They ain't had no live band. Lil Wayne is coming with a live band. He's gonna come with a live band. But it's just, I feel like when it comes to New Orleans, it's a lot. They leave us behind a lot. Even fifty years of hip hop, I feel like they didn't give us what we should have got. Dig into it a little bit deeper. I think being an older cat, you know, already I alluded. I already think it's bias anyway. When it comes to the <laughs> South, I think Jay Z, God bless him. Um, when it come down to Birdman and just the fact of how Birdman and Slim them separated themselves and became their own bosses in the and that's South. What it is. I think it's a com competition thing. I think they feel like if they give us too much leeway, it's going to shine the light on something that's already got a light shined on it. We never needed nobody because of our independence mm -hmm. and our people like you who support the in infrastructure. We right. have our own supporters down here. So you can... Like Pimp, I always used to say, you can sidestep us, you, you, but you, you can't, you, you can't, can't leave us out because we, we gonna steadily sell. We are gonna do everything we supposed to do on our end because our people gonna continue to, to, uh, you know, support us. But how much do you think that plays a part of it? The fact of how Birdman and them and and actually Jay, they went back and forth even over Lil Wayne when he was Jay was trying to get right. Lil Wayne. Think about that. Right. Th these things are things that we don't try to talk about, but these things really they happen. They haven't happened. Um, like I said, like I, it's a lot of politics. And I, like I said, it. I just feel like when it comes to New Orleans, we're left out a lot. 50 years of hip-hop, they left us out. Like They tried to make it up and then got Boosie. But Boosie is Baton Rouge. Boosie is not New Orleans. That's right. New Orleans was a leader of a whole culture. We gave y'all no limit. We gave y'all cash money. We the reason that a lot of this style is what it is now. Like We the reason uh, people wearing camouflage it like they wearing it. Like Louisiana, New Orleans, that embedded culture, it's our style and it's our influence. What do you so when you try to erase that, it's like disrespectful. What do you think your brother would think about all this? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's be real about it <laughs> like first of all Lil Wayne has been really really nice about it if it was my brother my brother would have cursed him out called him everything so but the child of God try to hear it, would he? listen what, everything but the child of God and then probably would have went and slapped somebody behind it but that's just my brother <laughs> yeah we on Boss Talk 101, 101. yeah we gonna talk